need assistance. Bye. There I shall abide under the shadow of your wings. I need you to lead me. Don't forsake me. That's why I need you to lead me. My soul and healed to you. Total control. Use me as you please to move as you need to sing a song or give a word. Something that they never heard. I just want you to use me.
What's up, family? What's going on? Happy Friday! You know what time it is. No, it's not past this time. It's the Quad Storm with Paula G, the voice right here on Positive Power with Double XI Christian Media. That's right, I'm your co host, Jerry Woods Live. And at 12 for 10, you got Chanel Lynn. She's gonna join us. We got music reviews. We're going to talk to talk to gospel artists. That's right, Dwayne got this here. He's the bass player. That's right, he's the bass player from out Brooklyn, New York. That's right, we're going to talk to him, find out who he works for. He works for the bishop. That's right, you know that guy. And we're going to talk to him and find out what's going on in his world. Right here on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. All right, stand by for the voice of self, Paula G. What's up, Paula G? How you doing? What's going on? All right. Showtime, y'all. What's up, Paula G? How you? You got a copy on me? All right, I don't think Paula G hear me right now. But anyway, y'all, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Positive Power, the Quiet Storm. And um, I don't know why Paula G don't hear me. I'm looking right at her. All right, maybe her headphones. All right, let's check and see what's up with her. She is connected, but uh, let's give her a second. We get some stuff together. So meanwhile, while we are waiting for her, we're going to go ahead and play Dwayne's song, right? Let me pull it up real quick. And this one's called Get Your Praise On by Dwayne Gott. Here we go. Sing the song. It's not enough just clap the lung. I gotta get my praise on. Get my praise on. I gotta get my praise on. I gotta get my praise on. Just sing the song. Just clap the lung. I gotta 
just clapping along the down. Get my praise on. Get my praise on. I gotta get my praise on. I gotta get my praise on. Just sing the song. Just clapping along the down. to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Royce, live worldwide. That's right. You tell them, Nina Taylor. You're listening to Double XI Radio, Christian Radio right here on Spreaker. That's right. Go to Spreaker.com forward slash Positive Power 21 if you're having issues with your Facebook. So come on out there and listen to us on your mobile devices. All right, Paula, can you hear me now? Can I hear you? No, oh, no, I don't hear Paula. It could be Paula's headphones, all right, because she did move down to the speaking queue, which I do see something happening, but I don't hear. Let's see if we can hear Dwayne. Mr. Gott, you there, sir? Uh-oh, must be, must be us. <laughs> all right, I might have, to, might have to go out of the queue and come back in. Yeah, maybe it's us because I don't hear nobody. All right. Tell you what, y'all. Everybody hold tight. We're going to play some more music. Be right back, right back. Find out what's going on on this end of Positive Power. All right? So here we go. We got a little something called I Clap with Dana. Express my gratitude 
give him praise. Lord, your love is so Worldwide podcast. All right. All right. Now I found what the problem is. <laughs> I'm still asleep. <laughs> it was a couple buttons I forgot to push. All right. We're going back to Paula G, but just to start over, because I even forgot to go live on Facebook. Man. All right. I did finish my coffee. I'm all right, wifey poo. I'm all right. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining in the Positive Power Double XI Christian Media. You're listening to the Quiet Storm with Paula G, the voice. The voice. Did you hear me, y'all? All right, so we're we wide awake now. So here we go with Paula G, the voice. Our special guest tonight is Dwayne Gott. Coming on at 12.15 will be Chanel Lynn. We will have an opportunity to play some, some new music for you guys and, and chit-chat a little bit with Mr. Gott. Here we go, Paula G, the voice. What's up, Paula G? You got everybody thinking I'm malfunctioning on this end. <laughs> I just want you to know that. <laughs> you got so oh Paula G she not connect she didn't push the right button she on the, all that noise see God don't like ugly God don't like ugly well we're live <laughs> now Paula G don't wish your don't wish your air towel laying me out I, I know all right <laughs> I you, know we live <laughs> we live now don't lay me out Here's I want to make sure my we're bad. clear my bad this evening mwah. much love to everybody <laughs> that's right the Good show must go you on. All. Glad that everybody's joined us. That's right. I gotta get Chanel straight now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, look, you ready? You ready to talk to your guests? I'm ready to let them in. Good, All I right. am. All right, Mr. Yes. Gott. Can you yes. hear us, Mr. Gott? Hey, what's going on, guys? God, how are you, love? Awesome. Bro. I'm just cracking up over here, man. You know, trying to get this frequency going on, and I'm hearing Paula, and I'm hearing Jerry, and we're not hearing each other. <laughs> You know, we live and clear now. Yeah, we good. Yeah, we live now. Yeah, yeah but yeah. you know, he I have to go there every now and then because you know that's my radio hubby. So you know, he makes folks yeah. think I don't think I don't know what I'm doing on this end. But you know, I just have to let him know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's my bad. That's <laughs> yeah. my bad. Yeah. <laughs> we good now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look, things for you. God has just been doing all kinds of wonderful and amazing things in your life. So. Let's start off with you sharing with us who is Dwayne Gott. Ah, uh, <laughs> Dwayne Gott. Yeah. Wow. Um, I know. Mm. I know he's the son of the king. <laughs> yes. I, thanks. I, thanks I to his, um. I know his my, home my sister call him Boo. Regina. I know his home folk call him Boo. <laughs> I mean, um, Dwayne God, um, D God. Yes. Um. I'm a husband. I have a, a lovely wife by the name of Valerie Gott. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm a father. I have um, a daughter by the name of um, Ty. Oh, beautiful. Son-in-law, Brandon. Um, he's mm-hmm. a pastor of a church in Brooklyn, um, Epiphany, and they're doing wonderful things out there. And awesome. I'm a grandfather. I have two grandsons. Yes. Jeremy. Um. I'm a grandbaby. Grandbaby are the ultimate for um, my church, which is mm-hmm. the Kingdom Church Love Fellowship Tabernacle out in Brooklyn, New York. Yes. My bishop is the Bishop Hezekiah Walker. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I'm Amen. an artist, uh, a writer, producer, singer. Amen. Amen. Uh, servant of the Lord. Amen. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us how this all got st- started. How did your love for music begin? Wow. You, you're taking me back now when um, yes. <laughs> you were teenagers. Mm-hmm. Back in um, junior high school, uh, it all started for us. Um, first seeing someone playing the bass guitar around my age mm-hmm. and I asked my parents to pick me up one, and they said, maybe um, we'll get you one for Christmas. Depends on your behavior. Oh, so, um, <laughs> fortunately, I was, you know, my parents got me a bass guitar, and I would play, like, the same song over and over and over and over again, and I was popping with a Rolling Stone. Oh, wow. Boom, 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 mm-hmm. boom, boom. I used to drive my, <laughs> my sisters crazy and everyone crazy. That's the only song I knew. Right, right. And then in school, we ran into a young man by the name of Patrick Jordan. Very yeah. talented young man. He was a couple mm-hmm. of, of years younger than us. And um, he knew how to read music. He, he knew how to um, tune guitars. And um, he had an ear that he could hear something and pick it up and then show me how to play it. And, you know, that went on for some years. And mm-hmm. we, we started getting you know, good at what we were doing. But we still didn't know we were gifted or, or we had any talent mm-hmm. until the neighbors, you know, and, and the people from around our, you know, neighborhood started appreciating us and, and enjoying us and saying, wow, you guys, you know, sound really good. So we just continued to do that. And then um, we started a, a band as we got older into high school. Um, Perry McNeil, a very good friend of mine, and we'll, you know, do some talking about mm-hmm. him later on. Mm-hmm. Um, he he just took us underneath his wing and and started teaching us a lot of things. Um, we we were just a, a a local group that was out from Brooklyn, and we did all the nightclubs, we did block parties, wedding mm-hmm. receptions. I mean, we 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 really had a nice thing going on. Now, so was it that all hot started. Ice? Was that hot ice? Oh well, well, hot ice was the first band that we started. Okay. Wow, I didn't even know you knew anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, the bio, that's right. I do the my homework. Bio. I do my homework. <laughs> see, see, you snuck that one in there on me. Uh-huh. <laughs> I do my homework. Yeah, that was the very first band, Hot Ice. Okay, okay. And then, so you know, we started, uh-huh. I was junior high school. Then we we moved on, you know, to high school. Then it yes. became Kingdom. Yes. And um, from there, you know, um, mm-hmm. we, we were together for for many years, many yes. years. And, you know, we got married, and mm-hmm. we decided to, um, you know, go our separate ways. But we continue to do music. Yes. We continue to do music. And um, now um, I'm at the church, and mm-hmm. that started, like, about 22 years ago. Right. But but that but that crossover for, for you, initially, you hesitated, didn't you? Hesitated crossing over into to gospel music? Yes, um, Mm -hmm. it was like a long stretch in um, my playing period because um, it slowed down and I I started Mm -hmm. doing studio work. Mm -hmm. Um, But then um, my wife, her grandfather was a bishop of of a church that she grew up in. Okay. This was before um, I became a member of the Love Fellowship Tabernacle. Um, right. We would attend her grandfather's church periodically mm-hmm. when we were able to get up because we were nightclubbing. <laughs> so every every now right. and then we were able to wake up and, and go to church. And go to Sunday. church. <laughs> <laughs> I think we, if we were honest, we have all been there. If we were honest, we we've all been there, so we can relate. Whether whether we voiced it or not, we can relate. <laughs> yes, and and he was happy, uh-huh. you know, that we would make it every now and then. <laughs> yeah. God but, um, in church. <laughs> Yeah, so once I joined um, Love Fellowship Tabernacle, that that's when I, you know, picked the bass back up again, you know, yeah. on a regular. Mm-hmm. But, um, my my church is, is, is a singing church. Um, yes. So when they found out that I played, they was like, hey, mm-hmm. um, sit in and, and, and mm-hmm. let's see what you can do. Right, I, right. I was kind of rusty 
And then gospel is it was a whole another feel in in a whole nother, it was just a big change from right. you know, the R&B and the jazz. Right. You know the, the right. different keys that they play in, and and the timing was was different on some mm-hmm. measures. So it took some you know of getting used to. But what what was right. good, um, the drummer Jeffrey um Leslie he gave me a tape, a cassette tape. That's how mm-hmm. far back we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you really <laughs> going back. <laughs> it's any longer. Well, he gave me a yeah. cassette tape that said, learn these songs. And that helped me out a lot, tremendously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, it me. sounds like, you know, it sounds like that was a pivotal moment in your life where you picked up the bass guitar in, 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 high, in, in school. Mm-hmm. You studied music, you learned your craft through a variety of means, whether it was um, instruction from another person, the right. diff- the experiences that you had in the bands, R&B, the jazz, and that sort of thing. And you mentioned that, you know, it, you had this gift and didn't even realize that you had the gift. And, you know, I always think the, the beginnings and the foundation are so important because when God gets ready to move you, you know, into into His environment to put you in front of His people, he, he, all of that before was preparation. You mm. know what I'm saying? All of that was yes. before was preparation. And I've heard other artists speak, you know, uh, prior where some of them hesitated, you know, going from. Um, R&B to gospel because they were concerned about how they'd be received or, you know, they, they were in, in, you know, one culture of music and now they're transitioning over to another culture of music. But we have to remember that God uses us throughout the seasons of our life for such a time as he has us in those particular seasons. So it sounds like your journey prior to, to moving into gospel music was all preparation for where you are now. Would you yes, think? yes, nicely said, <laughs> nicely said, and 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 I realized. See, I jumped right into it because yeah. I was faithful when I was doing um, the nightclub scene mm-hmm. and and, and the R and B thing. And when we started going to the church, I I I, I was praying, and and in my prayer time, I, mm-hmm. I said to God, I said, I'm going to be faithful to church, yeah. just like I was faithful to yeah. the club, and mm-hmm. and you know, doing the R&B thing. And yeah. I realized that, you know, through Scripture and, and my teaching that every good and perfect gift is given mm-hmm. to us from up above. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And then I realized that I had a, a gift in, in, in the early um, stages of attending church. And, mm-hmm. and, you know, through that process, but we have learned so much. Um, yeah. Out, um, being a Levite and and being mm-hmm. um, loyal and 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 being um, on time and, and and being devoted, being dedicated, mm-hmm. and, and realizing that once the music begins to play, yes. now the spirit, yes, is is settled. It, it sets yes. the atmosphere mm-hmm. for the praise mm-hmm. and worship. Right. Right. Because it speak music speaks to music speaks to the soul. It speaks to the soul. You know, depending on the the atmosphere that it's falling into, mm-hmm. whether R and B, jazz, gospel, it speaks to the soul. Um, and you know, I think that that is something that you know some people when they go to church they may not grasp you know a message through through the message, but they'll grasp a message through song or through music. Yeah. And a lot of times, as you know, and I know I'm, I'm literally preaching to the choir how the right. ministry of music ushers in, ushers in the Holy Spirit and prepares the congregation to receive the word, you know, to receive yeah. the word. So, it's a, you know, the ministry of music is, is a powerful, powerful um, thing. Tell us about Love Fellowship Tabernacle. Wow, there's so many things um, I, I, I know, can say. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? The Kingdom Church. I mean, um, mm-hmm. it, it's been a life-changing experience for me and my family. Um, we, 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 when we started out, it, it was like um, 
a journey because mm -hmm. um, it, it was like as soon as we, we, we joined the church, things just started happening like right away. Mm -hmm. And um, the first thing that, that happened was um, the Tabernacle Choir did their first live recording mm -hmm. live at the church. Bishop Hezekiah Walker presents. And the album um, did very well. And right away, we started doing, um, like, a mini tour. What we would do is um, we would go to different um, churches, different arenas on Friday and mm -hmm. Saturday. And Sunday morning, right back in church. There have been times when we came straight off the bus, straight to church. Wow. And it was like we was not going to miss church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now, we would do Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday, back in church, back in the choir stand, musicians back in your corner, faithfully, mm -hmm. faithfully, for years. Um, wow. Yeah. And then wow. we um, went on to do um, a, a second recording. But prior to that, um, the bishop had his community choir as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That, yes. that was um, Love Fellowship um, Crusade Choir. Yeah. Oh, I remember. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now you take me back. Yeah. And um, yeah. what happened was the bass player um, decided to do um, launch out into a, another career, and I was there and av available. Mm -hmm. So I'm playing for the church, mm -hmm. and I'm playing for the um, traveling choir. Now, both choirs are traveling. Mm. So you're I'm, moving. I'm traveling back and forth. <laughs> Yes, you are moving. Oh, I mean, God position, position, positioned you for both opportunities. And I'm like, wow. And then we did our, our second recording, which is Love is Live, and that particular yeah. one won the Grammy. Yeah. Wow. But before, but before then, we were on, a, like, this here punishment because something happened. Yeah. And when I tell you, we would pray constantly, and through uh -huh. prayer, we, we, we learned how to love one another and yeah. um, trust each other. And, and the Spirit of the Lord just moved, you know. And it, it was a wonderful thing. Uh, so much was, was, was taught through prayer as far as um, playing. And yeah. Minister of, of Music, Juwan Martin, him and I, mm -hmm. we, we got up off our knees, and he said to me, have you ever thought about playing and through your playing, someone is delivered, set free, Ooh. and healed Ooh. by what you're playing. And wow. I said, wow. I said, I said, God gave that to you? He said, yes, he did. I said, I'm going to be prayerful about that, Juwan, because mm -hmm. I believe when I play a note mm -hmm. that someone is being set free, set free. delivered, mm -hmm. healed just by one note. Mm. So if I'm playing it, many notes... Mm hmm many demons. Because they float into the atmosphere. The notes float into the atmosphere and settle on the spirit of the person that needs it. And that reminds me of what, what the bishop had taught us because um David, King David, mm -hmm. when he when he would play his harp for um yes. King Saul, he would he would kinda like soothe him because he mm -hmm. had like a spirit over him that was evil, yeah. King Saul. So David would play, and, and it would soothe the king, and, and it would mellow him out. That's a good wow. way of saying it. Yes. Yeah. And the, you know, the music has so many, I think music has so many um, incredible layers. And we are going to take a break, and when we come back, I want to talk a little bit more about the Love Fellowship Tabernacle. And we want to talk a bit about uh, Mr. Perry McNeil and mm -hmm. what he has met in your life. And then also, you know, I always love whenever I'm speaking to uh, a married man, I always want to get your pearls of wisdom on marriage, fatherhood, and being a grandparent. Positive Power family, we are speaking with Dwayne God. He is 
the son of the king. His family knows him as Boo. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we are going to continue our conversation. This is Paula G. and Jerry Royce live on Positive Power 21, The Quiet Storm. You are now listening to Lead Me, Lord by Danny Nicole. the shadow of your wings I need you to lead me Don't forsake me That's why I need you to lead me And guide me If you don't W. Robinson, host of Gospel Updates, your gospel entertainment news report. And you're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Weiss, live worldwide. Paula G. 
And we are back. This is The Quiet Storm on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Voice Live and yours truly, Paula G. We are speaking with our guest this evening, Brother Dwayne God, and he was sharing with us his start in music, how as a young child he picked up the bass guitar and through the encouragement of his parents and, and teachers and those around him, his gift that he didn't know he had began to grow. He began to uh, play in a variety of bands and gained experience uh, throughout the jazz and R&B world. He eventually uh, transitioned over into gospel music where he began to minister to God's people. Also, he has been blessed to be able to be a part of Love Fellowship Tabernacle with Hezekiah Walker. And uh, he's just been sharing, you know, some nuggets of his journey with us. Dwayne, tell us a little bit about Perry McNeil. Oh, uh, we we go way back. Um, mm-hmm. as a matter of fact, he was um, a, an original member of of, of the Hot Ice. <laughs> 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 yes, yes. And then, um, you know, we we moved on, and and he also was, you know, the leader of um, Kingdom. Yeah. Um, so. Um, he he's a very um talented young man. Um mm-hmm. was back then, still is. Um so he he started um a record label called um Max Sound Music Records. Mm-hmm. And that's what we um are doing now today. Um Wow. He he gave me a call because we, we always been, been friends like brothers. Yeah. And we we kinda lost contact with, with each other. Mm-hmm. But we kept in contact with each other. How funny is that? So um, <laughs> he called me up and, and said, hey, you know, um, I'm going to launch my label, and I would like for you, um, you know, to be a part of it. And mm-hmm. they know that I do gospel, so they said, you know, we, we would like for you to head off the um, gospel division. And I said, hey, you know, I, I think that's a beautiful thing because we, we, we go so far back, and we, we've been doing music for years. Yeah. So we know each other and and we 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 fail off of each other so that's where we are now so what we did was um perry said hey we have some other um partners which is um lonnie cohen's and um Mm -hmm. michael willett the four of us and we Mm -hmm. got together and they said um let's um see what we can come up with to um launch the label what type of music Mm -hmm. and you know they they doing their thing, and and they said okay, these are the songs, and we listened to them, and they said okay, help me to pray, is is it sounds like that's that could be the one that we would like to kind of like push. Help me to pray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We 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 kind of we like we would like to push that one, as, right. as even though there's we we're pushing other songs, but mm-hmm. we want to concentrate on that one. So we agreed, and, and we released it um, in the beginning of the year. And right now, it's, it's, it's doing pretty good. We're getting a lot of good reviews on it. Yes. Um, stations are picking up on it. So mm-hmm. that, that's where Perry's at now. He, 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 he's like, you know, uh, a master in, in the studio. Right. And, and he, he engineers, and, and he mixes, and, you know, he performs, he sings, and so that's where we are now. We 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 really pushing this um, single right now, mm-hmm. and and we're looking, you know, to do some other things in the uh, very near future. Yeah, and I, you know, the title is so powerful within itself because you know, as we all know, you know, prayer is our most powerful weapon. Yes, it is. And the more time we spend in prayer, the closer we get to God. So. Uh, just the just the title alone um, ministers and and it is a ministry. So you know, I know that that particular project will be quite success, successful and will bless so many people. You know, when you know those of us who are in this business of radio of, of music or anyone who is in the in the public eye, a lot of times the public sees the public person. And they'll see, for lack of a better term, the glitz and glamour of the mm. of the of the public person, and they might do and ah and just fantasize about how wonderful that person's life will be. And those of us who are in this business, I think, would agree that what happens on stage, what happens in public, 
is perhaps maybe 10% of it. The other 90% is behind the scenes, such as the business side of the music. Um, you know, all of the, the, the contracts and, and the business side that has to be trans, transaction, transacted, but also the personal side of the artist that is, is balanced with the public side. So share with us what you feel being in this business and your experience, what you feel are, are, are entities of success when it comes to mar being married in this particular um, industry. Wow. Um, you know, the Bible says that... Um, he that find up a wife, mm -hmm. find up a good thing. Yes, and that that's that's true yeah. and important mm -hmm. because um, you know a, a wife, in my opinion, has to be mm -hmm. um, understanding. Yes, um, patient, prayerful. Uh, no one mm -hmm. is no one not to speak. Mm -hmm. So her job is is, is not easy mm -hmm. as a wife, especially um, if she has someone that's um, a musician or in this industry as an artist. Because as an artist, you you may keep late nights. Mm -hmm. uh, you may have to um, be out of town. Yeah. Um, so she has to be um, willing to trust you and, and understand that this is what you do. Yeah. So these things are, are, are important to even discuss before you even say I do, mm -hmm. like, a min like many other things. Yeah. So um, the, the importance of it, again, is, is just having a, a, a good communication um, in your relationship because that's the key. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's so interesting as I'm sitting here listening to you, you know, I was a military spouse for uh, 23 years, and everything oh. that you mentioned rings true in that environment as well because mm -hmm. whether it's a musician, whether it's a soldier, the mate is gone. Right. For extended periods of time, that trust, mm -hmm. that understanding, that prayer, discerning when to when to speak and when to give that, that, that spouse their space, the communication, mm -hmm. all of those things. Um, so I think that's really, really powerful and just wonderful that you've shared that. Talk to us about fatherhood. What does that mean to you? Wow, fatherhood. See, I, I, mm -hmm. we just have the one and only daughter, and, and she says yeah. that quite often. I'm your one and only. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her, her growing up, um, her and I, you know, spent a lot of time mm -hmm. together because I would yeah. um, drop her off at the babysitter and I would pick her up. And yes. so we, we have like a, a, a really, you know, good relationship, mm -hmm. um, especially back then. Yeah. You know, daddy's girl and, yeah. you know, how that That's is. Powerful. Especially the only one. That's powerful. That's yeah. I always I always say that the daughter has more power over the man than the woman that birthed her. She got more power over that man than the woman that birthed her. I know I used to do it. I told my girls, go ask your daddy this, go ask your daddy that, because they'll get an answer quicker than I would. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about being a grandparent. That's a whole nother, mm. whole nother level of love, isn't it? Yes, it's a whole nother level of love. <laughs> And, yeah. But you, you have to see um, my wife and, and, and my daughter feuding over me because oh, yeah. both, both of them are spoiled <laughs> rotten. <laughs> you spoil them both. <laughs> both of them are spoiled rotten. So it's like, okay, okay, who is going to be her or me? Her or me? So anyway, um, that's just so funny. But yeah. a grandparent, now I get to see my daughter all over again in these two guys. Oh, my God. And, and myself. See? I'm so glad you said, I wasn't going to say, I'm so glad you said that. That is so true. You get to see your child all over again in your and grandchild. myself. I'm so glad you, yes. Yeah. I see myself. I see my wife. Uh -huh. and, and there were things that we would 
teach our daughter, and we would try to explain to her, and we would say to her, you will learn when you have children, and you will see <laughs> when you have children. And she's seeing it. Pay that. <laughs> she, she is seeing it. And it's like, you know, you see herself. <laughs> yes. It's just yes. so funny because it's, it's payback, like you said. It's mm-hmm. payback. It's payback. It's, it's all kind of mirrors being held up because when you see your, your child, a mirror is being held up because you see yourself. When you see your grandchild, there's another mirror being held up because you still see yourself. And there's just all these different, you know, layers. And I know for me, I see myself as a mother in my daughter. Okay. And then I see my daughter in my granddaughter, if that makes sense. Yes. I understand exactly what you're saying. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. But sometimes <laughs> I look at, at, at one of them. Well, I look at both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, and I say, wow, I was, I was like that. So maybe I can relate to him. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> give, give him a better understanding of himself. Help him and out then a bit. Because they like different they have different yeah. personalities. One, one is like real laid back, cool. Yeah. And the other one is like Mr. Einstein. He he always wanted to <laughs> have an opinion and, and speak about something. <laughs> and that, isn't that something? Because you look at them and like, okay, I, you know, you're, they're like polar opposites. You know, I know both your parents. You came from the same parents, but there's, but you know, they can be so polar opposites. So it just isn't that funny? How? Yeah. You know, and it just speaks to how. We are all individuals. Mm-hmm. You know, we are all we are all here and we're all uh individuals. So, um yes, yes. Thank you Dwayne, thank you so much for sharing with us. Um and I know you're going to stick around and be talking to Jerry and Chanel oh, yeah. in just a little bit. We're going to uh take a break and when we come back, we'll be speaking with uh Jerry and Chanel and chatting a little bit more with our guest, Mr. Dwayne Gott, right here on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Voice Live and Paula G. Can you feel the power? We'll be back in a moment. You're listening to Positive Power 21, Christian media on late night radio. What time is it, listeners? It's past this time. I am Dr. Paul Kelly. Praise the Lord. Coming soon to past this time, International Ministries on March the 20th, 2018 at 9, 15 p.m. Eastern Standard on Positive Power 21.org Worldwide Christian Media. The legendary ambassador, Dr. Bobby Jones. Yes, you heard it. Dr. Bobby Jones, known as Mr. Gospel. And Bobby Jones presents Impact Network TV. For 31 years, this gospel icon has presented a weekly television show that promotes his unique, anointed musical genre. It was the largest running show in cable television history, a mainstream on BET, but played a larger role in the spiritual gospel greatness in the African-American culture and our contributions to the gospel industry. Join us live in this honorable interview with the legendary ambassador, Dr. Bobby Jones. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. How you doing, everybody? I'm Nina Taylor, and here is your gospel news. Indianapolis-based family group, the Williams Singers, were first organized by Reverend Charles D. Williams as a musical outlet for him and his family, originally called the Christian Cavaliers, and later changed their name to the Williams Family Singers. The early version of the group performed frequently in the Indianapolis area, but never made any recordings. Until 2002, they made a recording as a tribute to their father. The three Williams brothers, Darnell, Desmian, and Desrell, 
Bell recorded a live album showcasing the songs their father Charles had written for them. Under the name The Williams Singers, the three brothers began recording for their own label, Desnell Music Group, mixing traditional quartet style singing with uplifting contemporary gospel and R&B. They soon found success outside of their home of Indianapolis, Indiana. They began touring the country with acts like Lee Williams and the Spiritual QCs, the Canton Spirituals, Vicki Winans, and Dietrich Haddon. Between 2004 and 2011, they released four albums, including a Christmas release. In 2014, they collaborated with a number of gospel artists like Zacardi Cortez, Lisa Knowles, Virgil Relaford for their album, Destined, which gave them the hit song, Been Good. The trio followed with In Real Time in early 2017. They landed at number 25 on the top gospel albums charts. Zacardi Cortez combines his full-bodied voice and a 80s throwback style to his gospel singing as a member of James Fortune and Faya's project before launching his own solo career. Having grown up touring the gospel circuit with his family, the Cortez family, Zacardi Cortez was mentored on the road by John P. Key after an appearance on Key's 2005 release, Live at the Fellowship. Cortez joined James Fortune's Faya singing lead on their 2007 album, The Transformation, and its top 20 single, The Blood. With Cortez up front, Faya would top the gospel charts in 2010 with the single, I Believe, and suddenly the singer was being talked about all around the country. His solo officially began in 2012 with the CD, The Introduction, his debut album. Darlene McCoy, who was born Darlene Janice Johnson, a singer, actress, writer, and radio host whose music has topped the gospel and R&B charts. Originally from Greenville, South Carolina, she was raised in the church, becoming a praise and worship leader. In 2004, her first single, Falling in Love, was included on the soundtrack from the movie Diary of a Mad Black Woman from Tyler Perry. Her next major release in 2005, McCoy's debut album, which included the song Followed in 2007 and reached to number 22 on the Billboard Gospel Albums chart. Already Got Joy, uh, often known as Simply Because, became a top 30 adult R&B hit as well. Mogul Dominique Strowman has formed a joint venture with Mitrell Records to bring digital distribution to independent artists worldwide. Dominique, along with Mitrell President CEO Capriccio M. Skates, will present a strategic platform for new and rising artists with this newly formed imprint called One Kingdom Live. The primary focus of the company will be directed towards gospel music. March is Women's History Month. This week, we salute Nanny Helen Burroughs founder of what at the time was the largest black women's organization in the United States with organization sponsorships, founded a school for girls and women. She was a strong advocate for racial pride, an educator and an activist. She lived May 2nd, 1879 to May 20th, 1961. Here's your Billboard Top 10 Gospel Songs in the Country. Number 10, Marvin Sapp with Close. Number 9, B.B. Winans, He Promised Me. Number 8, Ted Wynn, Standing Off. Number 7, William Murphy, Everlasting God. Number 6, J.J. Harrison and Youthful Praise with No Reason to Fear. Number 5, Travis Green with You Waited. Number 4, Anthony Brown Group Therapy, Trust in You. Number three, Todd Delaney, Your Great Name. Number two, Corin Hawthorne, Won't He Do It? Once again, Jacqueline Carr has the number one gospel song in the country with You Will Win. Well, that's your Billboard Top 10 Songs in the Country, your salute to Women's History Month, and your gospel news. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.
Regina, she was killing that. So I hope I know some some eyes are wet out there. Yeah, sometimes it just brings it out in you. The, those frequencies, the, the voice. All right, y'all, you listen to Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, the Quad Storm with the Paula G, the voice. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Please share this file. What's going on, Spreaker Radio? Man, I, for, I keep forgetting that Spreaker Radio is on opposite uh, time zones with us, a lot of the the people that are tuning into this show. Uh, we really appreciate uh, t- our international audience. Uh, we love you guys very much. And thank you. I really appreciate the inbox. I'm going to start sharing some of those with our podcasters. I just don't want their heads to get too big, especially Paula G. <laughs> anyway, to, uh, it's uh, 1230. Uh, we joined by Chanel. She got some questions for our special guests. Mr. Dwayne Gow, we appreciate him tuning in with us tonight. And just want to remind you guys real quick before I open the lines back up to them. Starting at 9 o'clock, we have, we have Pastor Jack and Sam Brown. You want to get your laugh on in the morning. Those guys will make you laugh. I mean, they, they're very humble guys, but they know their stuff. They're very, very, very intelligent. Ladies, you, you're talking about intelligent black men. These guys are super smart. Uh, they just about know everything. Uh, they're joined by the professor, which is a super intelligent woman. She writes grants for, you know, for colleges and organizations. So you got to tune in and listen to those guys. Um, they are on at nine o'clock in the morning. They mix religion with politics. They love talking about Donald Trump and they know a lot about what's going on. So, uh, you know, you don't have to listen to Farrakhan. You want to know what's going on. Them guys know it. So, uh, tune in. And at 10 o'clock, we got next man up. Very spiritual show. We have a panel of brothers that come on and we're trying to talk about, we're talking about the issues that's going on with our young people, how to keep them from flowing with the wrong crowd, how to, how not to get influenced by making bad decisions and all that good stuff. And they share, um, everything, 
everything under the, under the moon. So uh, come on out and join us. Uh, tomorrow we have our Pastor Jeffrey Moore from um, Praise and Lando Radio out in Florida. And we have Nathaniel Ware, gospel art. He's that social voice. So we got uh, Nathaniel Ware is going to join us. Uh, he's, he's actually an uh, ex-military guy. Man, entrepreneur, own his own daycare centers. So uh, come on out and join us and hang out and listen to these guys' powerful testimony because they have very powerful testimony. I met both of those gentlemen, and uh, they have a story to tell. So don't forget, tomorrow morning, get your coffee, go to Dunkin' Donuts, pick up your sandwich, and join us. All right, let me open the lines back up. All right, what's going on, Chanel? Chanel is here, y'all. What's up, Chanel? Yeah. You got it. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Good evening. She waits so patient. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, love. How are you? Hey, God. <laughs> I'm doing really good this evening. Awesome. Pressing my way. Wonderful. Pressing my way. <laughs> yeah, she, she has so much patience. 12 30 in the morning. 12 right. 30 in the morning. She's hanging in there with us. Good Lord. I didn't have my coffee. Hey. <laughs> so I am wired. She you hear wired. me? Yeah. <laughs> I need some of that. <laughs> yeah, we got Dwayne there too. Yes, Janelle. How are you? Yes. I am doing very well. How are you? I'm great. You sound well. Sound like you're excited. Yes, she is. <laughs> I am wired, honey. <laughs> yeah, Chanel is. Uh, she's the second segment of the of the apology, the voice, the quiet storm, and um, Chanel has some questions for you, Mister Guy. I, know I interviewed you early in the week. You just heard from um, Paul yeah. G. So Chanel has the, I guess, the third round of questions for you. So. Um, <laughs> All right, take it away. Right. Yeah, take it away. And, and let us know. And the Chanel, let me know. Let me know when we'll take a little break, Chanel. We, we do have some new music. So, um, you know, make some room for some new music. All right. Okay. You good? All, All right. right. All right. Take it away. I got it. Okay. So, reading your bio, um, I understand that Bishop Hezekiah Walker is your bishop. Um, and that you've traveled the world, uh, traveled the country, rather, uh, with him alongside with um, Love Fellowship Choir, uh, which, by the way, is absolutely a blessing, I am sure. Um, so my question for you is, did Hezekiah Walker ever give you any nuggets of advice that really stuck with you that, you know, you'll always carry with you? Oh, yes, Um so many things um, through his preaching, um, prayer. Um, that's 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 on the top of the list, you know. Always have a relationship with God and and you know pray without ceasing. Um, mm-hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of His righteousness, and all these things shall be added on to you. Um, mm-hmm. Trust in the Lord. Um, our faith level is is just. Um, at, at a place now where we just believe, you know, and, and, and we trust Jesus and we have no doubt because once, once doubt begins to set in, then you, 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 you like in sin. Mm-hmm. So, um, there's a whole bunch of things that he said, um, that, that sticks with us. Um, you know, being faithful to your services and studying your word. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Awesome. 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 Uh, you know, music, uh, you mentioned, uh, something about music, um, with your interview with the amazing apology, um, <laughs> that, you know, um, a person can even get deliverance, you know, with just hearing just one note, you know, and I can definitely, um, attest to that music is such a powerful gift, you know, to us from God and, um, it's a huge influence, you know, or not just, you know, our moods and um, so on and so forth, but it can even change, like, our perception, you know, on the situation or, you know, um, just change the way we think about a certain situation in just one song, you know. So my question to you is, is there a song um, that you've ever um, done or if there was a song that Hezekiah Walker um, ever saying that really, you know, changed um, your perception or your mood on a certain situation. Oh, there, there are many songs. Um, um, Bishop has so many great writers. Um, 
I, I, I'm going back to um, clean inside. Um, won't he make you clean? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, and, and, and it just goes on to, um, you know, faithful, um, grateful. There's, there's just so many. I mean, you could just put on, I, I believe you put on any one of his songs and it'll touch you and, and, and it, it'll change your life. Even to um, better, um, to um, I'll make it. There's just so many, and you know it's 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 a blessing um, to hear his music and, and to be a part of it. Amen. Yes, amen, amen. My God. Um, so my last question for you is: What would you say to a person who? Um, a secular music um, artist that what advice would you give them like as far as transitioning over to uh, gospel music like what would you say to that person like what would the benefits um, be versus you know um, doing secular music mm. you, you, I would tell them you have to be prayerful you have to have a relationship with God um, you have to seek the kingdom first and all this righteousness and all these things shall be added on to you. See, a, a lot of musicians, they, for some reason, they try to get around um, Christ, but but he's he's the center uh, of it all. He, he's the alpha, mm-hmm. omega, beginning, the end, the middle. It's, there's really no getting around him. So you, you have to seek him first. Amen. 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 All right. Jerry? All right. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, you guys did a great job. We really appreciate um you guys interviewing Mr. Gott. So we're going to take a quick break. Yeah, um, Jerry. This, <laughs> I know he said they wore me down. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah. They will get you. Paula G, Janelle, Jerry, you guys are, are the best, man. And like, you know, I was telling my wife, if there's anything you guys need, just, you know, drop us a line, and we'll definitely um, do the best we can to come out there and help you guys out, whatever it is. Yeah, you man. just name it, we're there. All right. I wish, you know, I wish yeah. we could uh, make some room for him. You know, Paula should be back to Baltimore. We're supposed to uh, start a new show. We, we're in production right now, and it was a great meeting. And uh, we're going to have to include you with the next, the next round when she comes back. How that sound? Yeah, check your schedule. Sounds great. Yeah. I like a plan. Yeah, because I know we're gonna it's gonna be a long day because <laughs> you got two artists coming in here uh on the twenty fourth. So it's gonna be exciting. So you guys get a chance to see a little bit of Facebook live being posted, a little bit behind the scenes stuff. It's gonna be exciting. Um my family's excited about this. And um so basically the show is 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 basically the artist's journey. They're gonna share their journey with us. They're gonna it's gonna be a live performance. As, as well as them on the couch talking to the the famous Paula G. The Voice. So we're excited about this. And um, this is going to be a show that's going to be featuring other podcasters that come to town. So we won't put all the pressure on Paula G. But, of course, we would love for her to come back as many times as she can. So uh, we'll we're, we're, we're put that in existence. Maybe we'll find some sponsors to take care of her. All right, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back with Dwayne Gott. All right, and don't forget, y'all, Dr. Bobby Jones is coming to Positive Power Double XI. That's right. So let's hear a commercial from Paula G., The Voice. Hey, family, this is Paula G. Oh, man, that thing froze up on me again. Come on, robot. Robot been acting up lately. All right, well... I got to go manual. <laughs> All right, y'all. He's probably going to pop on in a second. <laughs> you are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.
Hey family, this is Paula G, and I am so excited because coming to Pastor's Time with Dr. Paul Kelly is none other than the ambassador of gospel music, Dr. Bobby Jones. Tune in March 20th to Pastor's Time with Dr. Paul Kelly as we chat with Dr. Bobby Jones. Can you feel the power? Hi, this is Lady T, urban gospel artist from Jackson, Mississippi. You're listening to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Radio on Spreaker Radio and Facebook Live. So keep it locked. All right. Thank you so much. That's Latonya Coleman, the guitar lady. That's right. Mm. All right, y'all. We we want you guys just keep in mind. Uh, uh, March, I think it's March 20th. I keep getting other dates in mind. March 20th, Dr. Bobby Jones is going to be here to spread the word, give him a, a big Facebook live. I know we, we always get a lot of people on Spreaker Radio, which I know is way convenient in Facebook when you got very poor Wi Fi. Um, cause I know sometimes I could be right here next to the box and then start acting up. <laughs> so I know sometimes it's a, it's a lot easier when you download the apps and, and play some of these, um, programs. But, um, we appreciate you guys. Um, we're going to keep promoting that to keep you guys, uh, up the tune, up to date with what's going on here. Positive power. Like just a minute ago, Paula and I was just talking about a new, sh- new television show that she's going to open up with here in Baltimore. And, uh, we hope, um, that that thing fly. Um, we think the independent artists deserve everything that's coming to them and uh we hope they support these uh these uh venues that we're putting together for them you know just 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 sharing it you know the support so we appreciate all of that all right we got chanel we got paula g we got Dwayne. got all right Dwayne. so Dwayne, tell me about what you got coming coming up man um you got in you guys on tour uh any can people buy tickets to see you guys what's going on with your um your group 
Yeah, we're working on it right now. Um, we had a, um, a meeting, and, and we plan on um, doing some touring and, and, and engagements here and there because we, we're, we're ready to um, promote the single, um, the new one that's, that's, that's been released, um, Help Me to Pray. So we're looking forward to even coming down there yeah. with you guys. That's right. Yeah. yeah. But I want to ask you a question, Jerry. How does it feel to be having Bobby Jones on your show? <laughs> well, you know, it's does funny, that- man. Um, I'm going to tell you. You know, sometimes your spirit just speaks to you. Uh, actually, the offer had came along a couple of months ago that he wanted to come on here. And um, at the time, I was I wasn't feeling that well. At the time, I was my health was pretty poor, and um, you know I really appreciated the offer. And I said, well, you know, I know he's going to be available when we're ready. And then here come Dr. Paul Kelly. This guy has so much energy, and uh, he's a funny guy. He's smart, very intelligent, family guy. So when 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 the offer came back on the table again, and he said, "Jerry, let's do it," you know, I said, "All right, let's do it." So um. It's a good feeling, man, knowing that that uh, he respects this program. Cause, cause, you know, they, very, they talk very highly of Positive Power over at, at his network. He's a legend. Yeah, I know. So it's like, wow. You know, he accepted the offer. Wow. They, yeah, they, they actually, uh, my people actually spoke to him on the phone. And he was, like, really, really happy about it. He was cracking jokes. And he said, am I going to get a chance to talk to uh, the other guy? You know the Batman. <laughs> he said, "Yeah, he he'll be on the phone." So uh, that was that was a lot of respect right there, man. That he, you know, he brought me up. You know, so it's, yeah. it is it's very exciting. Believe me, it's almost like you know, not real. <laughs> it's like you know, humbling, <laughs> but definitely because I know what we all put into this. Capala, you know, been helping me from day one. Um, Tina Hobson, Tina really helped me get this thing off the ground when we went late night. I mean, she was she was helping me with this, and she was running her station. And I mean, you talking about she was on Spreaker Radio, running the chat. So you know, I, I, I give a lot of credit to 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 the women, you know, that, that jumped on here to help me out with this thing. Tina, Paula, right. Joyce, uh, Miss Benita. She was from the start, um, she, and she was running her station at the same time. So, um, you know, I'm right. And Kimmy Kim, she's running her station. She's still with me. So you're talking about people who are running stations the size of mine that they're still doing shows. So, uh, wow. Yeah, it is. It's, I'm glad you asked me that question, man. Um, it's funny because I've been on a couple of radio shows and people have been so excited about Music Vision. <laughs> and, uh, and you know, you know, we had, um, Pastor, uh, Wes on here too. That's right. Um, uh, he was on here, and he, well, not on. The, he has he didn't do an interview, but we had a chance to actually film him live in concert, and um, got a chance to you know hang out with him a little bit and talk to him. And Wes Morgan is quite a guy too. Um, yes, I mean, very yes. powerful pastor. <laughs> I mean, that guy gets you going, man. And uh, <laughs> so we've been really blessed, man. Um, it's been it's been it's been a very good ride. You know, we 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 in the I don't know if you know we shoot, we do film. And of course, we're moving into television a lot more because uh, the audience is getting a lot wider, and people are very visual now. So I want to ask you: um, How did it feel, you know, putting out that video, knowing you know what impact it can have on people? Because it was a very impactful video, man. It really, it, it showed a lot of energy, and I think that's what people are looking for. Uh, a good friend of mine, um, Malik, um, he produced that um, one there. Man, we 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 had no idea. Um, that it was going to um, impact as as you know many people as it is, but we prayed um, over it and for it. Uh, the quality um, is good because uh, Malik uh, he he does this independent um, production thing with with films mm-hmm. and you know different short short um, documentaries. Mm-hmm. So when when I brought it to his um, attention um, that I wanted to do a video to the song. Um, get my praise on, he was all for it. He he said, hey, man, you know, just write down, you know, what you want to do, and I'll I'll check it out. And, you know, I gave it to him, and he said, hey, let's do it. And and it's a good thing because we, we did it in a church in, in our cafe, which is upstairs from the sanctuary. And then I said, I have to get the church scene. 
because it's it's all about you know getting your praise on. Mm-hmm. And and when that little church scene come in there, it, Malik he he kind of like threw that in there because <laughs> he said I want to tape the service, and I was like, great man, oh, that's, wow. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. So that was actually live footage. Mm. When we broke out into that shout, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yeah, it was, it so was, um, yeah, it was nice. That's that's where we are, man. And, and thank you so much for viewing it and, and picking up on it because Regina, she was she was doing the thing and, and, and promoting it. And and when we seen you um, request it, we got so excited. It was like wow, because you know we we did it some years ago. Oh wow! And some things that. You you pray for and and you just forget about, mm-hmm. but God doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't forget. He doesn't. It's like seasons, man. Mm-hmm. It's like, and you know, it's funny because Paula G was helping me out with that video concept for a while. We had had a video show for going on for a minute, but uh, um, it was starting to be a little bit too more too much for us as far as going live. It would have been great if we taped the show, but it's fun when you go live. You know, just face it. Plus, it gives our radio audience a chance to, you know, um, listen to what was was going on with the guests. So I said, no, we're not going to do a tape. Plus, it takes forever, man, for me to get to edit. I got I got so much footage for stuff. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so that's why the music vision is, came along at the right time because I still have stuff that people have never seen before. You know, there's been taped right. in the last two, three years since um my youngest son and I decided to get into filmmaking. And um, <laughs> and it's funny because like, yeah, it's funny because you know it's it, it, it's it was more than a hobby for us. I kind of it's funny when we was doing radio, um, my son and I we was filming a church service. This pastor, she was very very powerful, and very talented. She actually was producing a play that had one of the uh, stars from The Wire in it, Richard Burton. You know, he's also a singer too. I think that he actually used to perform. I think with the Temptations, I believe, and with Ruffin and them, and um. Right. It was, and then the other actors she had are the unknowns, but they're like brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. But they just straight stage play. You know, they not really like performing for the camera. But it was fun to do it because they wanted to see what they looked like and how they were performing. So it's almost it's like filmmaking for stage plays have two tiers. It's like one, they can look at this thing and view it and critique themselves. And, you know, to get better and better because now you're seeing yourself the way the audience see you. And then at the same time, they say, hey, this could be a television production. You know, this, this, you know, we could sell this. So it never got to that point because they, they still wasn't quite ready to go to that level yet because, you know, high definition is high definition. So, um, so I knew that I knew that this was something my son and I wanted to do. Um, of course, we do a lot of red carpet and we, um, we do a lot of interviews and things like this. So now, God is taking us to another level where we're going to be using it to um, to produce real quality television shows, bringing the artists a little bit more closer to the audience now, you know. And I, I feel this is time for you guys, man. You know, I really do. That, that you guys have all the bells and the whistles that mainstream has, especially since the Internet is, is wide open right now. And I want to ask you, um, God, how you feel about that, man, now that – you guys are sharing the same platform with mainstream. How do you feel about that? Well, of course we have to thank God, you know, for social media. Yes. It can make or break you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Because the devil's up in there as well. That's right. So we have to be very Mm -hmm. careful with that. But it's just so wide open. Like you guys are doing a magnificent job and I can't, you know, say it. Thank you. Over and over and over again, I would love to, but you guys are just wonderful. And, and you know, I'm, I'm sure the Lord is going to bless everything you put your hands to. Yeah, and I definitely will hold you guys up in prayer. That social media is, is the way to go. I, I have seen people <laughs> <laughs> become so successful off of just a, a little YouTube clip or um, a Facebook page. And it's like, Really? Mm-hmm. But I believe they're just, you know, consistent with it. And and it's shocking to me how they just put up something and, and, and tomorrow they had a million views. Mm-hmm. I think social media, you know, can work for you and, and against you. So you, you have to be very careful mm-hmm. with that. But I'm loving it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, I've seen a, a lady, the housewife, <laughs> start out on YouTube. I went all the way to the beginning of her YouTube footage and she started out talking about pocketbooks 
<laughs> and next thing you know, she got she married a guy that was wealthy. So her pocketbooks went from just being bags that she was purchasing from a five and dime to her buying Louis Vuitton and all of that, you know. And she's sitting in front of a big fireplace. I mean, like a, I mean, like it's like a cave type fireplace. So it's just like you say, man. I'm laughing because you know. Are you saying there's that? some funny couches on there? <laughs> That's successful as well. I know. It's just it's and you crazy. say to yourself, "Wow!" Yep. And I think and you know what? How did he ever make it? Yeah, you 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 wonder. You know, and, and this lady is like, like that phenomenon. guy that be saying, "Gotti." <laughs> <laughs> so you're right, man. It don't take long, but you know this industry that you guys in the gospel industry has been a slow climb anyway. You know, I think. Dr. Bobby Jones pretty much had put a lot of it on a map to us, you know, with, with the Stella Awards and all them coming on TV once a year. You know, yeah. that's where you see the brilliance and the, the flamboyancy of the industry. But then the, then it, it, gets, it gets quiet if you're not involved. Like, I, I never was a musician. I'm not a performer. And before I was be, I was a podcast, I didn't know much about it at all, except for when, when we saw it come on TV once a year, which is what? Come on next oh, yeah. week? Next week, I believe, right? The Stella Awards. Right. I guess it's going to be well, yes. Yep. They're going to be yes. everybody in the um, Vegas. I have a, um, a good friend. Well, there's a couple of things. Well, first of all, the devil don't want the message to get out. Because mm. if you if you think back, gospel music was like really not even played on the radio. Mm. And when they started playing it, it was that AM and you would get static yep. most of the time. Yeah, James Brown played it. Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Who wants to listen to that? Mm -hmm. So you go to BLS. <laughs> so um, it has, you know, come a long ways, yes. you know, because the Bible says that, you know, the Lord will, you know, pour out his spirit amongst all flesh. And the word has to get out. So no one would have any excuse when it's time to bow. Because mm -hmm. every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. So we had, we had a place now where the devil is running rapid. So God has to, you know, keep his word, mm -hmm. which, which he's doing. Mm -hmm. And um, what you guys are um, doing a fantastic job and, and, you know, us as independent artists and the, the mainstream um, the gospel artists, his, his word is definitely um, um, reaching the nations. That's right. Catching fire, man. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Because you're right. Yeah. Because uh, James Brown had a station here, WEAA. And um, he was playing it like all day on Sundays. And then the FM station, we, you know, you catch it during the, the time when you're in church, up to one o'clock. Right. It, it was off the air then. Right. So you never got a chance to really know who these Kirk Franklins and, you know, Yolanda Adams are, you know, in, 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 until you saw the Stella Wars. Then you start, these names start coming to you. And, and the music videos that were being played occasionally, you know, you see those on BET. But it was uh, Dr. Bobby Jones that really was bringing them on live when you got a chance to see them. And now you say, okay, when they come to town, I want to see them live. You know, so they had a right. Day. So do you think um, if they had more, I mean, how would they have gotten more platforms? If, you know, especially because we know who's running our media anyway, our mainstream media, our NBCs, our mm -hmm. CBSs. So they're not really that interested in Christianity like that. And they don't think it makes money. Just like nobody right. thought that Wonder Woman and Black Panther was going to make any money, money as superhero, as minorities. You know? So You're they, right. So they always think wrong. <laughs> they think they know everything. They think like they think they know what the, list, the, the end users want, and they really don't until you put it out there. I don't know. So, well, it's out there now. <laughs> we got our own yeah, platform. It's out there now. And it's just a matter of us unifying now. That's, that's the key, unifying. And That's the key. Yeah. Coming together um, on one accord just for the purpose. Mm -hmm. And so far, the gospel. And God, so far, it doesn't look that bad the way things are happening now. Um, like the ladies' names I mentioned, they all from different, they from other platforms. They're not people that I just met on the street or met in class and said, hey, you want to be a podcaster? They, they, they have been podcasting with other stations. And now they decided mm. to, they didn't want to be syndicated. They just said, no, we'll be on your platform. They didn't ask for their own shows or any of that. You know, they want to help build this platform. So I think that was something that, that had to be the grace of God right there for people to be, you know. Yeah, and that's a like blessing. That. Oh, yeah. That's a blessing right there. So much talent. Mm -hmm. A lot of talent. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. you can hear the energy of Chanel. 
twelve fifteen in the morning. She's still excited to mm-hmm. come on. Paula G. <laughs> We've been doing this since what the right? summer? How long how long, Paula, since the summer? We met we missed maybe one or two Friday nights, right? You on me, right. Paula? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we missed maybe one or two Friday. We kind of talked each other out of coming on because we went to sleep. <laughs> but now, but then Paula got to the point. She said, "Jerry, we can't, we can't, we can't let eleven thirty pass and we don't air anything." It's like, well, I can't. I'm asleep right now. I can't get up. And That's play what you need. Yeah. So I uh, just uh, need that we push. Push right. each other like that. Yeah. So now we don't need do it anymore. We don't need to take a sleeping pill no more. We just do what we do. You know. We just, it's their time. Time to go live. Yeah. And we picked Chanel up from Relations Radio. I've been listening to her show for a couple months now. And um, I didn't I didn't think she would accept to come on Positive Power. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> How could I not? Oh, my God. <laughs> Jerry Roy, the Positive Power 21. What? <laughs> Call a G. Late night, quiet star. Are you kidding me? <laughs> See the enthusiasm? The how answer. could I turn it down? <laughs> Absolutely awesome. Yeah, we really appreciate you. <laughs> Kimmy Kim, her boss, Kimmy Kim, um, always got energy. Now, no matter how bad things going on in her life, you would never know it. When she come on, never know show it. Monday. Mm-hmm. Yep, Monday. Never know it. Yep. Yeah. Monday, she's on the air. You know? Mm-hmm. So, uh, That's mm-hmm. inspiration right there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But yes. you know you have Christ in your life mm-hmm. right there. Yeah, yeah, man. man. Yeah, and she know, um, that, you know, that day is coming, man. That time, I mean, she she's ready to go full time, and then she got other things she's working on, you know, and she's pumped up, and she's meeting the right people. Too. She's, I mean, she has people on, on her station that are very, very successful at what they do, and they all, mm-hmm. they they so open to give advice. I mean, I've listened to some business programs. So, oh my god, I got to try that, you know. And it said they right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff we didn't know, man. These guys mm-hmm. are sharing interest, information about money and, you know, which has always been something in the black community that we never really got a chance to really understand, you know, the power of money. We just looked at money as just being something to help you survive, but it's, it's more than that. Mm-hmm. So uh, these guys are teaching that. Sure to is. Us, you mm-hmm. know, don't be afraid of it. Yeah. Don't be scared mm-hmm. of it. Embrace it. <laughs> you know? Preach it. Don't. That's Don't right. be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. That's mm-hmm. right. Treat it, <laughs> treat it with kid gloves. Mm-hmm. Be nice to it. <laughs> Tuck it away. Don't throw it away. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, it looks like we're at, the, we're at the end of our show. I know we can talk all night. You got three podcasters on here. Uh-huh. And we just getting warmed up. <laughs> Caught and kicked in. So, Mr. Gott. No, so, um, look, we got you coming up on Next Man Up next week, man. How you feel about that? You ready? You ready Ooh. for that? You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, Paul. You know he got he got man, Dr. man kids, huh? Right. He got Dr. Paul man. Kelly. Dr. Paul Kelly, man. He's the man. Yes. Yes. He's the, the man cave conversation. That's right. He's the, he's the moderator, <laughs> yeah. man. He's I mean, there's so much, so much that you know we can talk about and discuss. Yeah, yeah. and you're right. And you know what? Yeah, and, I, and I told the main, Paul, the main thing I believe is um, being motivated and 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 putting it to work. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, he has big hopes for next man up. I mean, he's talking about a a college scholarship program. He's talking about um yeah. uh, the, the station doing a radio telethon to bring people together in unity. He's talking about um, mm. having a summit where the guys come together at the television station and and go live performances and have a speaker and you know he's talking about you know embracing love. He's talking about this is like a love movement. You know, not just mm-hmm. you showing up just to hear somebody blow some hot air. He's talking about all these guys that have been part of this summit and the numbers are growing. And and when they come to town, man, it's it's, it's going to be a serious Holy Ghost party up in there, man. We can't wait. Mm-hmm. Just like uh, wow. he, he, wants to, he wants to do this before the Spin Awards because he know if all of us show up at the Spin Awards, <laughs> we may not make it in the auditorium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy, it's gonna be too much embracing and and happiness, and mm-hmm. you know, we talking about guys who have shared Fellowship. platforms that had never met before. Person, you know, some of them are collaborating right. on projects as we speak. You know, this, mm-hmm. those things are happening mm-hmm. right now. You know, you talking about guys who yeah. who've been running prison ministries on their own. Now they got they have they can collab with other guys now. You know, they don't just have to do mm-hmm. it by themselves, and and then they motivating each other right. too. 
Because sometimes you don't get that pat in the back all the time when you, when you come out come from, from the truth. inside. Nobody's out yeah, there waiting. The yeah. Yes. Yeah, and they're sharing wow. their stories, mm. and uh, we encourage them to share the you know what's going on when they meet these guys. And man, I mean, if you ever follow Kent Osborne, uh, he he tells you he tells you what went on in in Dr. Terrell uh, Jenkins, same thing, Dr. Jenkins, and also uh, now Charles Clark hasn't had a chance to do the prison ministries in a while, but he's um, mm-hmm. in the street talking to the homeless and encouraging them. And um and sharing that news to people, you know, to embrace them, don't just walk past them. Mm-hmm. So he reminds us that we are all humans, mm-hmm. no matter what your situation. Right. And so mm-hmm. and so he's uh he's on a set now from the movie. I think he got Empire going on. So he's supposed to he's supposed to brace uh, uh, uh bless us with some time here in the studio. We're trying to get that mm-hmm. together. So um, great things are happening here, Positive Power. Mm-hmm. God is good. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, a lot going on. Yeah, people moving forward. God is forward. moving. Yep, people moving <laughs> yes. forward. Yes, yes. All right, Mr. God Gott, moving. you ready? The Minister of Music, ready to pray us out, man? Take us home? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Hey, Amen. Appreciate it. Um, Paula G., are you still there? Yes, love. <laughs> the ladies, <laughs> they were just quiet, just listening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we, we all know that you hold, you hold all of this together. <laughs> Discernment. <laughs> so, so of course, no doubt. Where, where would where we be without y'all? <laughs> That's right. In trouble. In trouble. <laughs> thank God. Thank God for the ladies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why God created us. For years. I remember when no men were in church. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm going to pray us out. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Heavenly Father, Lord and Savior, we come thanking you, blessing your holy name. Father, thank you for this evening. Mm. Father, thank you for watching over us and, and, and protecting us and watching over our loved ones. Father, we ask now that you just continue to pull out your spirit, continue to lead and guide us, continue to show us the way, order our steps, Father. Mm-hmm. Continue to increase our faith that we may believe that great things are coming and, and, and great things we are going to do for your kingdom, yes, for the souls that are lost. It's yeah. not just about it's not just about those that are already in church. It's about those that don't know anything about church, those that don't know anything mm-hmm. about you. Yeah. Father, we ask that we will be able to reach and touch them, that they may be able mm-hmm. to come to see your your, your grace and, and your mercy and, and know that you are the savior. And Father, give us a good night rest. Mm-hmm. As we sleep, Father. Even be in our dreams. And we wake up in the morning, Father, mm-hmm. we won't forget to praise you and, and give you all the honor and all the glory. And bless, bless, bless everything that, that we are doing. Bless our hands, Father, mm-hmm. for your glory. Do this for your glory. Mm-hmm. In Jesus Christ's precious name I pray, mm-hmm. amen. 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 Awesome. amen. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sisters Thank you. and my brother. You're welcome. Yeah, anything right. you need, Thank you. just drop me a line. All right. Okay? Yes. That's right. All right? And it, yeah, got, yeah, you got any, any fellow musicians, man, releasing singles, man? Send them our way, brother. Mm-hmm. Just tell them you refer to them. Oh, for sure, I mean, man. For show. sure. Um, I understand you're going to have um, Harvey on, Morris, yeah, on Monday. Yeah, that's right. Harvey's going to be here. Yeah. But, man, that's right. He's been current yeah. with the video department. Mm-hmm. Yep, he got it going on. That's right. Yeah, yeah I did like right. nine tracks, man. I played bass on a couple of his songs, like nine, I believe. Wow. Yeah, Harvey got a lot of music. Out. Oh, wow. He said be about 12 yeah. songs, I think. He has a lot of music. Mm-hmm. And he in there right now. Yeah. Yeah, we playing him. All right. Man, wow. awesome show. Awesome All right. show. All right, Paula G. All, All right. right. Final word, hey, Paula. Y'all have a good night's rest, and, and, and we'll talk real soon. All right, you too, man. God bless you. Talk All to right. you soon. Peace. See you in two weeks. Peace. All right. <laughs> All right, Paula G. So, have um, amazing week. Anything you want to say before uh, we close out? You and, you and, um, first, yeah. you know, first of all, I, I always have to pause every now and then and just thank you, Jerry, for entrusting me with um, this program and the many other, you know, areas that you have faith in me and you entrust to me here in Positive Power 21. So thank you You're so welcome. very much. I know we joke and we tease a lot, but I thank you so much. and I really, really appreciate it. And I just want to, you know, close with what I always close with, and that is the greatest conversation that you will ever have is the one that takes place in between your ears because it determines your destiny. 
Is God a part mm. of that conversation, and are we listening to his still, small voice? I just pray blessings over everyone. My sister Chanel, thank you so much for joining us. We love you. Hang out with us mm-hmm. anytime. <laughs> Love you too so much. Thank you for having me on and all the great stuff. (laughs) Amen. All right. Thank you, Chanel, for for riding shotgun with us once again. We really appreciate you. Of course, you know, you're always welcome here on on Saturday. Yeah. Well, Saturday morning now when your show come on, when you come Mm -hmm. on, your segment. So we want to always let everybody know what it is. It's part of the second segment of The Quiet Storm. Yeah. That's right. Because you know what, Aww. Chanel? See, we used to have no discipline. We used to be on here until like 3 in the morning. <laughs> we had no discipline. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We, we didn't have any discipline. Yeah. <laughs> you, you too. We, you be right here talking to some me. Some of us <laughs> had some discipline. <laughs> Let, let's just clarify. Chanel. Some of us, Chanel, Chanel. had some discipline. She ain't uh, had no others discipline. Others didn't have discipline. I say, I say Paul, we got to go. It's 3 o'clock. <laughs> You gotta get up at four. <laughs> he putting it on me. <laughs> if I gotta go early, although Chanel, I will admit, I will admit, every now and then, yeah, it'd be like, oh my god, it's four thirty. We've been talking all night long. She <laughs> she's say, she's look, Chanel, if it'd be like two or three, and I say, Paul, I gotta go. Ahead, go. She said, oh, you you going to go early because you gotta get up early. She be laying me out, <laughs> right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, damn, gotta, oh gotta, yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know, when he had, when he did not have to get up early, we could talk all night long. But when I had to get up early, you know, when I had to get up early, we talk all night long. But when he had to get up early, it'd be like, oh, it's 1245. We got to go. <laughs> right. I mean, I gotta, oh, wow. I got to drive to Florida. <laughs> oh, he, yeah. I need, I need eight hours of sleep. Be dirty, Chanel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. so wrong. dirty. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just cut him. I cut him off one time. I just left him. I just cut him off one time. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Shay, 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 come on and hang with me to three of the morning. That's when you know you're having, like, really good conversation, though. Yeah. You can get up to three, four o'clock in the morning, yeah. and you're still talking. Mm-hmm. That's and we good did. Conversation. Yeah, and we did. We did. People, and people be popping in too <laughs> all awesome. times of the night too. The West Coast be popping in. The other side of the glue. Mm-hmm, that's true. So people be tuning mm-hmm. in, listening. You know, I be watching. They be on spring. Yeah. Just popping on in there. So uh, you know, different. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Because you got people from <laughs> from different different time frames. Now, right. when I go to London this summer, let me see. Because they're five. Let me see. They're five hours ahead. So if we start, if I if I come in live, ten thirty, twelve thirty, one thirty, two thirty, three thirty. That'll be four thirty in the morning over there. Oh, so by yeah. the time we get off oh, with wow. this five oh, yeah. You said I'm five hours ahead. I don't know. We might have to think about it. Oh, we, yeah. Oh, yeah. I might have to pray on that. Oh, well, we just come. Well, we just yeah. We just come yeah, on early. The babies get the baby. The baby. The grandbabies get up about five thirty in the morning. They come in the room and they tap me on the face and they say, "Grandma, sleeping time is over." Oh, I'm like, "Are you serious? Oh, wow. It's five thirty at the board." Yeah, well, she's only five. <laughs> oh, wow. but to her. Yeah, she comes in. Sleeping time's over. I'm like, girl, it's five o'clock in the morning. She don't know. Talking about sleeping time is over. It's playtime. <laughs> it's playtime, grandma. You know, yes. Sleepy time. Yes, over. I want some. Yes, that's what she tells me. Five o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus, help me, please. <laughs> and then I got jet lag on top of it. So, you know, I'm just a mess. <laughs> so you gotta do like my son does with his puppy. His puppy, uh-huh. his puppy want to come in there and play with him while he trying to play video games. He put his backpack on the door so she can't open it. <laughs> uh huh. Because she be trying to put the door open, and he got his backpack on there. <laughs> I'm like, man, why don't you let your puppy in there? Your puppy want to play. So I'm trying to play video games. So you know they don't know. They just want to play. They don't know the time. Yeah, he just wants to play. That's right. <laughs> All right, lady. Yes, I appreciate that, that you young guys. Spirit. As always, thank you so much for <laughs> mm-hmm. hanging out. The uh, the show is doing really well, and um, people are excited yeah, about um, you know um, the unity. Awesome, awesome. I say University of Unity, a unity of university. Yeah, bringing it together. We love it. Amen. <laughs> All right, so we're we gonna, love it. We're gonna go out on. Um, I, I just love the Lord's Prayer by Sister Regina. Yes, oh Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what she mm-hmm. told me. That's beautiful. She told me she said, "Jerry, I know I can't hang a note with some of them big singers." I was like, "Summertime, you don't have to have no Ooh. big voice. It's just the way you sing it." You know <laughs> what is she talking about? This song makes you cry. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like you know, 
Mm. Mm. I'm great play it yeah, right now. Beautiful. I'm great play it now. Beautiful. So I, can... I gotta say, before 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 you play the music, Jerry, I gotta mm-hmm. I have to say that it is always a pleasure. Um I know I made a comment um on the video about, you know, just, just talking with you guys is it, it really is. It's like a breath of fresh air for me. I have to say that okay. before we close up to Good. tonight. I mean, you have you guys have no idea. I mean, you know, the you know, publicity and all that, that's great, but I just really value like great conversation. It's always uplifting and encouraging to me. You guys have no idea how much it is needed. I and love we, you too so much. And, I, and we <laughs> love you and thank you so much because we do, or at least I realize that on some evenings you do get caught in the crossfire between me and my radio hubby. So I appreciate your resilience, <laughs> my sister. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> well, I'm glad. Amen. All right, y'all ready to roll? All right, let's roll, y'all. You are listening we to Dream Works Live Worldwide Podcast. <laughs> All right, everybody, we appreciate you guys tuning in to the Quiet Storm with Paula G, the voice. That's right, me and Chanel riding shotgun. We want to thank uh, Dwayne Gott for spending time with us and his bishop for allowing him to come on the show. It was, it was all good. You can catch us again with Dwayne Gott on Next Man Up next next Saturday. I got to make sure we open because I know one of them said I think we're traveling. But, oh, oh yeah, Eyes of mm. Esther. Eyes of Esther with the Blessed Network. I think it starts at five o'clock on the seventh. All right, that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be probably streaming it on Facebook Live on a red carpet. Um, we won't be doing the event, but you get a chance to see Jerry Woods Live worldwide and Mr. Appointed on the red carpet. Mr. Will be on the mic. I'll be on the camera. Me and little Jordan. So we're gonna make it happen, y'all. So come on out to the Eyes of Esther and meet us. That's right, meet the Batman. That's right, I won't have t-shirts ready yet. I'm sorry, y'all. Still, we're working on that. I got to get back with Pastor Paul. I want him in black. All right? That's right, the black man got to be in black. All right, everybody, have a great, great weekend. And please tune in at 9 o'clock with Pastor Jack at the breakfast table with Pastor Jack and Sam Brown. 10 o'clock, mm-hmm. next man up with Dr. Paul Kelly, Pastor Jeffrey Moore, and Nathaniel Ware. Come on out and join us. Hear some powerful testimonies. I'm Jerry Woods Live Worldwide on Positive Power Double XI. Hit it, robot. You are listening to Jerry Woods Live Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Positive Power 21.org Internet Radio You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.